This video is sponsored by Mammoth Interactive. Take your skills to the next level at mammothinteractive.com. Check the links down below for some amazing deals. Hey everybody, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the hardware specifications uh, for the Unreal Engine. Now, this is the Unreal Engine 4.26, but for the most part, for Unreal 5, it's mostly the same. So, the recommended hardware is, well, 8 gigs of RAM, 2.5 gigahertz. Now, this particular computer that I'm on is similar to this, although I, whenever I buy a computer, I always get more RAM. I always do here. Now, what they're asking uh, for you uh, when you are uh, when you're actually making uh, or getting Unreal Engine Five is the recommended uh, hardware, and then they're asking you. Uh, you can see the minimum software requirements, but the performance here is like this is what they really want you to get. Okay, so if you're in the market for shopping for a computer, then you might want to find something with something similar to these specs here. So I've hopped onto Best Buy into their gaming computer, okay? Because you're going to need a gaming PC to run the Unreal Engine. So if we scroll down to RAM and type and put in 64 um, uh, gigabytes, you can see that it starts to get pretty pricey pretty quickly. Okay, and remember these are in US dollars if you're not in the United States, all right? So that's pretty, uh, you can see that it runs you quite a bit there. Now, I my computer doesn't have 64 gigabytes. I think I have 16, and it's quite a bit more affordable at that point. But I would assume that with 64 gigabytes, it would work pretty well. Now, if we go into to clicking into 128 gigabytes, for example, you know, um, this is going to be really pricey. <laughs> um, and I don't think you need 128 gigabytes. I mean, unless you have, you know, unless you, you bought a bunch of Dogecoin, uh, I don't think, uh, I don't think you can, uh, uh, you know, if you profit off a of Dogecoin or whatever, um, I, you know, you, you probably don't need to, to do, uh, to get something that big. Now, Let's take a look at some of the other things here. So we have two terabyte hard drive, which I highly recommend that you have at least a two terabyte hard drive. So I'm uh, wondering if I can, uh, total storage capacity, there we go, and up. So if we click on that here, I think most of these have, have that here. Um, okay, so we have uh, both those two things here. And let's see, we have, two terabytes and then this nvidia geforce okay so let's take a look up here nvidia okay it's probably something like that here and you can see that you know it gets to be pretty expensive so do you actually need this kind of computer to run the real engine the answer is no no you don't but if you do want if you are really serious and let's say you know, you're making your game and the performance is uh, is hindering um, your uh, your ability to, to produce a good game, then you might need to upgrade, okay? Now, what I highly recommend that you do when you start the Unreal Engine is just to, to make sure that you've built like three or four or five prototypes before you spend this kind of money. Uh, just because if you don't do that, you won't really understand. Uh, what you need. Uh, and the other thing is that if you really want to, you can always make a stylized game that doesn't require Nanite. Uh, that might be a better option. But as you can see, you know, if I, um, let's see, if I can say low to high, let's, let's do that here. Okay, so the lowest you're going to get, and I'm just, is this one here. And you can see that, you know, if we look at the stats, we have uh, in uh, i7 and I believe does it say what you need six core 3.5 gigahertz we have the in core Intel we have 64 gigabytes of memory uh, Nvidia G4 six terabyte hard drive plus one terabyte SDD so uh, the HDD and the SDD are not quite the same thing uh, you you definitely want the SDD although this will help you 
it might be a little bit slower. Okay. And like, this is a pretty, um, pretty intense uh, here. So you can see that here it is 3.8 gigahertz, uh, which is above that. Uh, the HDD, I don't like the HDD here. Uh, I'm wondering if I can go back and only specify. Um, okay, so we got 64. And then uh, what was it said? Did it say i7? It doesn't actually say that. Uh, just SDD only. Okay, because the solid state uh, drives here are much, much quicker. So let's, um, it doesn't, it doesn't actually do that because these are both HDD and, hmm, well, I'm assuming that's okay. It's not the end of the world is what I'm trying to say. So, um, I think that's all we need to do. Um, but if you want to pick up other gaming laptop, uh, gaming computers, you're more than welcome to do that. If you're on a laptop, that's a whole other thing. I used to work on a laptop, but I decided to not uh, work on a laptop anymore. I just go with a PC here. I have an MSI uh, right now. Um, and, you know, you can even, even go to that website there. But nevertheless, if you do decide to upgrade to this, make sure that you actually release something. And I would even say that you should probably go with this and release a small game, even if it's just on itch.io before you upgrade, because it's quite a bit of money. So what is the conclusion of this video? Well, if you really want to, it's your, it's your hobby, or you're really serious about it, you can actually get one of these good computers. If not, get the something a little bit above the basic recommended, release a couple of games here and there. And if you're still, if your computer still isn't very good, then I highly recommend upgrading. Just to prove, uh, just to, uh, to point that here, uh, this computer is definitely not as good as these settings here. And I do just fine with the Unreal Engine. However, however, if I did have a little bit more money, I'd probably get one of these. In fact, maybe in about a year or so, I will do this just because my- Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. If you really like this video, you can buy our content down below. It really does help us out when you buy our content down below because this channel doesn't do a Patreon. Instead, we sell our digital products down below. If you really like this channel, you could subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month, every single month. We release everything from Adobe tutorials to 3D modeling tutorials, to game development tutorials, to machine learning tutorials, to web development tutorials, and more. We're constantly pushing the bounds in e-learning, and if we can get to 10,000 paid subscribers per month, we can become the best e-learning company on the planet. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.